I'm Colette Davies Kerwin. I am the Head of Performing Arts. I'm also the Principal Teacher for A-Level Theatre Studies. A-Level Theatre Studies is a linear A-Level, so it runs over the two years. It has three major components, um, and the way that they're split down are, the first component is the one that is what we call the theory component, shall we say. So you've got three parts to that component. First part is the study of a text called Antigone. Second part is the study of a text called Metamorphosis. And the third part is the study of live theatre productions. Now, usually, the way that that will work will be that we will go out and see different live theatre productions. However, we do have the option to be able to look at things that have been digitally streamed as well. So there are some fantastic productions that we use for that from the National Theatre. So it doesn't really matter too much if we can't get out to see too much live theatre. Those three parts to that first component, they're examined in a three hour exam at the end of the two years. So it's a sit down, I'll take a look at Antigone, I'll take a look at Metamorphosis, all from a director, a performer and a designer's point of view. And then this third part, which is the live theatre review, really is about looking at how do theatre practitioners combine their skills in order to achieve a particular aim? And how well did they do that? That is the component one, and that's worth 40% of the A-level. Component two is a devised piece. Now it's devised under the style of a particular practitioner. So what happens is, during your first year, you come in and we learn about that practitioner, we learn about that practitioner's techniques, their style, and then we take a particular issue, a particular topic, and you as a group, between two and six people, you as a group devise a piece under that style trying to show off what do you know now about that practitioner? How can you perform in that style? Alongside that, you create a piece of coursework, which is a maximum of 3,000 words, and you have time with us to work through that and develop that. And that is really you talking about what techniques have you applied, how well have you applied them, how well have you developed and refined your ideas to better hit those aims that you set out for your audience. That's internally examined and then it's, uh, it is moderated externally. That is 30% of your A-level. So very, very practical. And that happens and is boxed off by the end of your first year. Third component, third and final component is a performance of three different extracts from a text, from different texts, sorry, um, that are all different uh, socially, historically, and culturally. So the first extract, you perform, you prepare, you create a piece of written work again, but it's just filmed. It's not externally examined, that one, just there for the performance. Second one, totally different. Again, developing your skills, something, something that's going to challenge you, something that's going to give you a sample of a different style. And again, you prepare, you perform, you create some written work saying, this is how I approach this. The third extract, third extract, we pick something that's really going to show you off. Now, don't forget, we've had you all the way through the first year, all the way through the second year. So in collaboration, we come up with something that we think is really going to show that examiner how you shine as a performer. And that is exactly what you do. You perform it to an external examiner and the external examiner marks it alongside a piece of written work called the reflective report. The reflective report, similar to your working notebook in that it's 3,000 words, but this time you're looking at charting how did you really hone your skills through that extract one and extract two as a performer? What did you really learn and how did you apply it to that final extract, which is under a different practitioner to the one you did in your first year. And that is 30% of your A-level again. So, just to bring it back round full circle, 
you've got 40% that comes from that theory component of studying, sitting down, doing the exam. 30% coming from your practical component, component two. 30% coming from your practical component, component three. 60% practical, 40% theory. And that's the structure of the theatre studies course, really. Even though it does have that 40% theory, everything we do, we approach from a very, very practical exam, a practical angle. As I said, we've got that idea of approaching things from a director, a performer, and a designer's point of view. So the vast majority of the time, our main teaching space is a black box studio attached to a classroom because what we do is take a look at those texts, take a look at those performances and go, hmm, how do we think that would work? What would we do with that? Then get up and prove it. That's where we take a bit of a step forward from where, say, English Lit stops, where you've got the analysis, but now we've got to get up and have a go at it. So as long as you're happy to try things out, that's great. What I'm most interested in is that you've got a level five in English language or literature because as you've heard me explaining, there is quite a lot of analysis in there and you do need to be able to create continuous prose that can hit very clearly those targets laid out by the exam. The other thing to bear in mind is you do not have to have done GCSE drama. If you have Great, that's lovely, but not every school offers it. So we don't want to disadvantage those of you who've never been able to study that, nor do you have to have studied something like BTEC Performing Arts. All that does is prove to me that you've got the confidence to get up and do things. Great, box ticked, but you don't have to have that previous knowledge because everything you need is on our course and it is a huge step up from wherever GCSE was. What can you do with it? What can I do with my theatre studies A-level? Pretty much anything you want. I've had students who've gone on to study everything from a specialism undergrad degree in acting right through to one who went to Cambridge to do anthropology. You can do pretty much anything you want to with that A-level. It's a very old, very well-respected A-level, and it has a wonderful synergy with anything from the humanities or anything coming from the English side, obviously because of that level of analysis that we talked about previously. Hopefully that's giving you a good overview of theatre studies and the types of things that you'll study on the course. However, if you've got any other questions, please do feel free to get in contact. We're always happy to answer any questions that you have about course content, about the, where the classes take place, anything like that. Please do get hold of us. Mm -hmm.